This is the XRON-1 rotor cycle, a one-man helicopter designed for the United States Marines. Its development was initiated in December of 1954, when the Navy's Bureau of Aeronautics authorized the Gyrodyne Company to design and build such a vehicle to be used for observation, courier, and other tactical purposes. The rotor arrangement comprises two sets of contra-rotating blades with tip brakes for yaw control and drive shafts which are coaxial. The result is a helicopter without a tail rotor and a helicopter with excellent flying qualities. The flying qualities and the compactness of these vehicles led the Navy to authorize Gyrodyne to modify the rotor cycle from a piloted to an unmanned, remotely piloted helicopter. The successful flight testing of the remotely piloted rotor cycle was the determining factor in the decision to develop a remotely piloted ASW helicopter. The world's first flight of an unmanned helicopter took place on 12 August 1960 at the Naval Air Test Center at Patuxent River, Maryland, when the first version of the remotely piloted rotor cycle, designated as DSN-1, was successfully flown. Further developmental testing of a twin-engine vehicle, the DSN-2, led to the production of the QH-50C and the QH-50D. These anti-submarine helicopters carry two Mark 44 homing torpedoes to attack sonar-located enemy submarines. Takeoffs and landings are controlled from the destroyer deck. Tactical flight is controlled from CIC, using ship's radar for tracking the vehicle as it flies to the distant submarine location. The flight and vibration-free characteristics of the QH-50 series led to experimental investigations with motion picture and TV cameras. This resulted in the Navy's decision to explore the possibility of using the vehicle for surveillance and reconnaissance. Out of this evolved the Navy's Project Snoopy. With the installation of a TV camera on the QH-50, the vehicle's purpose reverted to its original function that of observation, but with a major difference. The pilot is now located on the ship. Films and tapes from Vietnam demonstrated the high degree of Project Snoopy's success in gunfire spotting and other surveillance operations. Here, an enemy-held bridge is being shelled by a destroyer miles away at sea. The immediate observation of shell bursts on the ship's monitor TV screen permits gunnery corrections and resulting target hits and damage. Here, the QH-50 TV camera is picking up the movements of enemy soldiers in an area supposedly evacuated. This scene, taken by a low-light level TV camera on a moonless night, reveals the presence of a grounded freighter. For some surveillance missions, the installation of a motion picture camera, along with a TV camera on the QH-50, provides a high quality record and additional pictorial information for detailed examination and analysis. Here we follow a two-lane winding road on San Clemente Island. The TV camera serves to guide the flight along the line of interest. Still photos also provide records for further study of the observed areas. Concurrent with the Project Snoopy tests, Gyrodyne, under Navy sponsorship, conducted other feasibility tests to determine the QH-50 system capabilities, such as the laying of effective smoke screens. The planting of sensors the transporting of cargo, which might be beams or bullets, without risking pilots' lives. And the rescuing of downed pilots. 
The QH-50's versatility is enhanced by the fact that operations can be controlled from piloted aircraft. From mobile ground stations. And from ships at sea each with the capability of transferring control of the helicopter to the others. The results of the foregoing applications and demonstrations led to the exploration of further surveillance and interdiction applications in projects Night Panther and Night Gazelle, funded by the Advanced Research Projects Agency, ARPA, and managed by the Naval Air Systems Command. Night Panther is an advanced version of Snoopy. With payload weights considerably less than those of the torpedoes in the ASW applications, the QH-50 Night Panther and Night Gazelle can carry auxiliary fuel tanks, thereby extending mission flight time to as much as four hours. Special tracking mounts were developed for Night Panther, capable of carrying various sensors in various arrangements. Equipped with an MTI radar and a TV camera, this QH-50 transmits information through a telemetry system to a ground display for target detection. Close range target recognition is accomplished by the controller's TV camera zoom action commands. This assembly of special sensing and detection devices, referred to as BLOLO, has the capability to collect and transmit intelligence data. Combining the Night Panther sensor system with various weapons led to the Night Gazelle program. This QH-50 carries a TV camera and an XM-129 grenade launcher installed on a specially developed tracking mount. Here we see a target being hit by the aerial grenades. This installation on the tracking mount includes a TV camera, laser range finder, fire control computer, and a hypervelocity gun. It fires flechette ammunition capable of deep penetration. Mounted on the sides of this QH-50 Night Gazelle are XM-18 bomblet dispensers. The TV enables the operator of the bomblet dispensers to determine precisely the target area. This is a combination of TV camera, laser system, and a Lars missile, operating together to track and destroy still or moving targets. Once released, Lars homes in on the target selected by the controller and results in pinpoint accuracy from considerable distances. A 20 millimeter gun installation is currently being readied for tests, and other missiles are being considered. The operating radius of the QH-50 can be considerably expanded by the use of an elevated relay station, such as this mountaintop installation, or this tethered high altitude balloon, or any other airborne vehicle. It can provide both distant early warning and strike capability. The QH-50 Night Gazelle has a gross weight of 2,500 pounds, but there is no limit to the size of vehicle that can be constructed by using the gyrodyne coaxial helicopter concept. We see here a test bed of an eight-bladed coaxial helicopter. It is the gyrodyne company's experimental modification of a QH-50 airframe provided by the Navy. This concept has the design potential for a vehicle with a payload capability of 100 tons.